racket testing time. The new Yonix V-Core. I have a 98 version and it's the seventh generation. And in this video, I'm gonna take you through all the features, how the racket performs, and yeah, what I think about it. Okay, let's start with the design. Super sleek, really attractive racket. And I know that sounds a little weird, but when I played on tour, I probably would have not played with a red racket or a white racket because I feel there's something moving all over the place. But this is just really attractive. I'm using the Rexus Comfort at 50 pounds. I have grip size two. So just so that people know what I'm doing because I get a lot of questions about that whenever I'm testing rackets. The weight is 305 grams, 10.8 ounces. And the balance point is at 315 millimeters. Main crosses, 1619 and as I already said, 98 inch square. A couple of key features, the Yonex typical isometric form, 7% more of a sweet spot. So that hasn't changed, but what has changed is that they added a few aerodynamic features. So if I'm coming really close, you see these fins here. And you're also seeing this feature up here on top that the grommets are set in a little bit. And this is supposed to help with the aerodynamics so that you can actually have less resistance, wind resistance, when you're accelerating. And we'll see if that bears out when I'm hitting. The new graphite material and also the grommet design are supposed to help you increase spin and it keeps the ball on the strings a little bit more. So that also helps with creation of spin. So if you're a baseliner who loves to just rip the ball, this is the racket for you probably. All right, let's see how it hits. Ooh. Huh. Ah. So first observation is that it's really easy to maneuver. You can really accelerate there. I'm not trying to hit hard or anything, just trying to find a rhythm. Yep, I do feel that the ball is spinnier and I'm not trying to hit differently again I'm just just rallying just trying to get a rhythm going just trying to keep balls in play especially on my slice which is probably not something that everybody looks forward to when you're going for a spinny or racket but I really feel that the slice kind of bites into my strings and I'm getting a whole lot of stickiness on the ball I like that Yep, definitely can move it, accelerate it pretty well. So even if you're not properly set up, the weight of the racket doesn't prevent you from manipulating and still getting a good ball off. Yep, like on those. If they come in a little heavier, a little deeper, I can still accelerate against the ball. In terms of weight, that racket is really nice. And for me, that's important when I teach. Again, I don't need a very heavy racket. The weight, as I said, is 305 grams, 10.8 ounces. And that feels like I can hit with it. When I'm hitting in with my clients here, I feel like I can do that for hours and it's still generating enough pop that I can actually focus on them, which is what I do when I teach. How does it perform at the net? Because I'm actually at net quite a bit when I teach. That is solid. Good feel. Yeah, feel solid. And even here, it feels like I'm a little bitier on those volleys. I like that. Yeah, that feels super solid.
Oh, and it has feel. Look at that. Yeah, this is a good racket. Net player, baseline player. I think something there for everyone. So this is usually the pace with which I serve. Just letting my arm roll. And if I can get some pop on the racket with not swinging at all, if you're really trying to go for it, this works. So I told you what the new features are in the beginning. Yonix was trying to create a racket that really increases the ability to create spin and still maintain power and control. And you know what, I have to tell you, this racket does exactly what it says it's gonna do. I felt when I'm hitting ground strokes, I have control. I don't have to kind of rip my arm out to generate power. And I do feel that I had more action off the bounce. Now, I'm not thinking that's the greatest if I hit with beginners. So that's maybe not the racket that I'm choosing when I work with newer players, but I'm telling you, if I have to hit in with more advanced players, this racket is golden. It's forgiving, again, gives you enough power, gives you action off the bounds. I loved it on my slice. And what's really, really important for me is its maneuverability up at net. I'm playing a lot at net. I'm feeding a lot of balls in, kind of just trying to increase the intensity when I'm up at net. And I need a racket that helps me with that. So all of the Yonix rackets so far have been stellar in that. But I think this here kind of takes the cherry. Cream? I don't know. It takes something. The cake. It takes the cake. So my verdict overall, maybe not the racket for a beginner because it does feel like you can accelerate a lot. And if you swing and you don't have your swing paths, your stroke patterns ingrained yet, you might lose control. But if you're an intermediate going towards advanced, especially if you're a baseline player and you want to get more spin on the ball, this is the racket for you. So in terms of what Yannick set out to do with this racket, 100 out of 100. Great racket. So. Uh, yeah, now I have three rackets that I can choose from when I teach. Did you know that you can get more and exclusive content if you sign up for my Patreon channel? For as little as five bucks, you're getting early access to the videos that you see here, but you're also getting a whole lot of other stuff. And if you upgrade to the Grand Slam level, you're joining our monthly coaching call. So check it out right here.